previously on Atomic Craft Survival. In this episode, I have plans to make major, like, progress. I'm gonna dig down to Y level 11. We are in the nether. We are now in Minecraft 1.16, um, nether update. I'm gonna get some quartz. I think that is good for now. I guess we could extend our, uh, house a little bit. I think the floors would look good with cobblestone. Okay, I got a little bit of sugar cane. Put it around this little water hole thing. So, a little bit of a recap of what we did today. We dug down to Y level 11, found some diamonds, went to the nether and got soul sand, changed the floor of our house, and that's about it. Before this video starts, I just need to let you guys know that it's very laggy and part of the video is just zoomed into the top left corner. The laggy recording I'm going to try to fix in the future, so enjoy the video. Hey guys, oh my gosh, it has been a while since I've done a video. Um, I did record a video um before this. But it was super laggy and I just decided to not post it. It was like running at one FPS. It was terrible. In the last episode, I did say that I would do some off-camera work. And what I've done so far is make the water elevator down to Y level 11. It might be a little bit laggy. If you look up in the top left, you may be able to see it. My face cam may be in the way, maybe not. But I am running at like 25 to 30 FPS and it's, I have tried like everything in my power to try to fix things, like to make it run better and it's, it's just not working. Um, I have my own little texture pack that I put on, it, um, it makes the items, I, I just turned it off to make the FPS, uh, be smooth. But it, the item textures change when the items load their ability. And um, the font is, I guess, higher quality. It's smoother. Um, the sugarcane is 3D. The vines are 3D. Rails are 3D. Minecarts, I guess minecarts were already 3D. But um, uh, yeah, it's, it's really like I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, so... For this water elevator, the best way to do things is to use kelp, because kelp makes all of the water blocks solid and that's how you make an elevator. I went to the ocean to find some kelp and then I found one of those little structures under the water and then I had a treasure map in it. So I went and went to the, uh, the treasure and I found some more diamonds. Um, so... Right now I have five diamonds, but before last episode, I found, uh, I don't know how many I found, but I made a diamond pick, I know that much, and I also have an enchantment table. We have no bookshelves around it though, so that might be a little bit of an issue. My plans for this episode is to make a little cow farm so we can get a bunch of leather for the books. So let me go find some cows real quick. Oh my gosh, I have a little bit of leather. Or I got one piece of leather in my inventory. I should have more leather. Hmm. Let's make a book real quick. Okay, so for a fully functioning enchantment table you need 15 bookshelves and for each bookshelf you need three uh, books which means 15 times three hang on we need 45 books 
Oh, that's gonna take a bit. Okay. I have been going at this for a while now, and I got 11 leather, but I need leather, so give me a second. Okay, let's see. Obtaining, you can draw, it drops from animals, cows, mushrooms, horses, donkeys, mules, llamas, and hoglins. They all drop zero to two leather. You can craft them with four rabbit hides. You can fish for them. So yeah. Our best bet is probably going to be, I don't know. Okay, hang on. Oh, if you barter with piglins, they can give you leather. You can find them in a village. I guess we could go searching for a village. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna go do that. But I should first clear out my inventory. I guess while we're here, I have a bunch of leather, so I guess I could make stuff right now. Let's just make a bunch of bookshelves, shall we? When I was creating this thing, I thought that it had to be surrounded by 30 bookshelves, but then I figured it out that the max is 15, and there's no point or reason to go to 30. So what we're gonna do is, um, I am just going to place wood wherever we're supposed to play, place bookshelves. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. So all of these need to be bookshelves. Now, I'm just going to place this down right here, just because I already have the bookshelves. And I'm just gonna leave a hole there, because that's where I need them to be. All of this wood needs to be bookshelves. Okay, I'm able to make two more bookshelves. I guess, um, right now, I could go to sleep, because it's nighttime. And I could show you guys this cool trick to find any structure. Okay, so you're in Minecraft, right? And what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to do slash seed, and then you go into chat and it, you click it, it copies it to your clipboard. So then you want to go out to the link in the description, and it will bring you to this website called Chunkbase. Now, you want to click on apps, and there are many, many different um, things that you can find. So what we want right now is village. You do that, and then you copy the seed in, press enter, and then it shows the nearest village. And apparently there's a desert village at those coordinates. Okay, so back on Minecraft, the coordinates are negative 205, and then the Z is 260 about. Are you kidding me? Is this the entire village? This is, this is just sad. Wow, why? Why would the, it's four houses. I don't understand why you would do that. Well, there's not gonna be any leather here. Uh, what we can get out of this village, if you guys didn't know this before. If you're, like, doing a speedrun or something, and you find an iron golem, you're gonna wanna hit it, and then tower up three blocks, because that's to the point where he can't hit you, and you can just start killing him, and you get iron out of it. See? I just got two iron. So... I was thinking that my next video could be a little speedrun of Minecraft because that is very popular in the YouTube community and I think I am pretty decent. I've tried speedrunning before. I've never actually won. What else should I do? There, there's no way I'm ending it right here. I haven't made progress. Like, I, I've made a little progress, but there's no way I'm just leaving it at that. You know what? I think this is just going to be an exploring episode, I guess. I will see you once I find something interesting. Whoa! Uh, never mind, that's not that cool.
Okay, so I don't know if there is any more desert to explore, but this is the coolest thing that I found. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's kind of cool. It's a giant ravine, basically. Ooh, there's another ravine. That's that, that's cool. I, I don't I don't need it. If I went down to diamond level, I might want it. But in no circumstances do I need it. The terrain's getting kind of mountainy, I guess. And I'm pretty sure this is just the end of the desert. I have traveled. A thousand and five hundred blocks, and I found nothing but sand and dead bushes, and a village with four houses in it. I think I'm gonna go to that savanna biome, see if I can find anything. Ooh, it's a ruined portal! No way! Oh, that's cool! So, I'm thinking that the end of this series is probably going to be me doing finishing all of the achievements because uh i don't think when we defeat the ender dragon it should be over because i at least me i defeat the ender dragon early in the game so i can get the elytra because the, El the elytra let's be honest it's super super useful i just found two golden hoes <laughs> there's a golden hoe with efficiency five i need to find the savannah bar. Ooh, there we go. I found the savanna biome. Oh my gosh, that took forever. I, I'm not sure that the savanna biome is gonna go like far at all. We might need to move away and live somewhere else. And I think that is pretty much it. This is so disappointing. This episode was is so non-productive. While I'm traveling back, I guess I could get some food. Yes, I found a cow. That's the forest. And this is the plains. Yes! Yes. Another portal. Sharkigan farm. And our actual quote unquote house. I'm just gonna make some more books for more bookshelves. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah. I would say a recap on this video, but. I didn't do much like at all. I explored the entire island and I made a little bit of progress with the whole bookshelf thing Before you guys click off the video. I just want to say since it has been like three or two months since I have Recorded a video or posted a video. I'm sorry for that, but school has started and It's it's just been hard to keep up with everything I am going to try to post videos every Saturday. Don't count on that, that's just what I'm trying. You guys can count on me when I have dates set and stuff. Maybe like every other Friday or something. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, the sun's going down. It's a great day to do an outro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. And subscribe because all it takes is a click and two clicks if you want to be notified when I post another video. If you guys subscribe, that just helps my channel grow. Please share this video with your friends so it could get more views so more people could view my channel. I guess I'll see you next time in the next Minecraft video. It might be a speedrun or something, so you don't want to miss it. See you later.